peace divine i hope all is well so i all just got done like chanting and like taking a shower and i'm like pretty happy because like my day has gone pretty good and things are going pretty good now right and i was thinking about just like posting like a few videos on like ig about like how i'm feeling like what i'm uh what i'm thinking about but i'm like why have i not posted a video on my youtube because it's like i feel like all right so first of all i apologize to future me because my you youtube is kind of like a self diary so i could like reflect back on my own reality in a sense and i told myself i would document like every single month of my like log journey and i didn't and i'm kind of like a little bit mad about that but not really because it's like it's all right so i cut i got i cut my hair last time like december 20th right like so basically like the start of the start of 2020 the one is like the start of my like new log log journey right so now it's like june 9th i think 8th one of them right and so this is how it looks I'm not really doing much to it, honestly. It's just like water and like orin and then like not much else. So there's, the good news is that there's not much to document about my hair journey, but I still want to like document it. It's nice and curly, so it's cool, you know? Everything is going well, so I can't really come complain about that. Outside of that, I also wanna just like document and share what's happening um outside of here so the year started off like pretty rough like in terms of like my car getting messed up in terms of like people leave my life it was a lot like i'm like i guarantee bro was like literally one of the lowest points in my life like i had a few low points in my life like probably like freshman sophomore year of high school the end no the start of 2019 i believe around that time like like crazy breakup and then the start of like this year was like hell bro but luckily things are going well now so i was i guess like i gotta explain everything don't i so i was working at <laughs> i was working at amazon right um in jersey right and i'm in philly but that didn't work out so like they fired me right so then i was kind of like mad about that but then not really because i had like a bunch of money saved up right so i had like a lot of money saved up and i'm like bro i was literally telling my co-workers and my friends i'm like why am i working here when i could literally just make money online you feel me but the thing is i didn't have a laptop and like looking back on it i don't know how did i last as long without a laptop you know because i always say i want to make money and have businesses online but i didn't have a laptop so i bought a laptop it's right there <laughs> i bought a laptop and then i was just like like i'm looking for like online jobs and online jobs so i recently had like an interview last week and now now i'm in the process of like um doing like the drug test and everything like that and i should start training on like the 21st so i'm really happy about that because like i'm really trying to pivot my whole reality my whole life online you know i always say i want to invest online make money online have business online but like now i'm taking like the steps towards it and i'm really excited about that and like my car the car thing was probably like the biggest thing that really like put like a toll in my like i know it's just like a physical thing but having a car is really a lot and like once you don't have one it really like messes you up so that left like a psychological like samaskara or like scar on me like in just a lot and plus like the person that was connected with it is like it was like it was linked to like love and like well not love but anyway it was linked to like someone who somebody who was very dear to me and so that was also like a lot luckily we're fine but it was like a lot of like emotional turmoil in a sense but now i got i got the car like it's parked like like right <laughs> I'm trying to show you like here. It's parked like down a block or whatever. I just gotta fix like a few more things. I just gotta pay for like car insurance. So like once I get this new job, I go pay for like, car insurance and get like the um the earbags fixed and like the steering wheel fixed and then like I'll be set. And then after that, I'll basically be not back where I was, but it's weird. I feel like life is really like cyclical. Like I'll be back, like I have my car again and I have a job again, but it's a, like a different job and it's a different time and like i would treat my like car differently now because like the reason i got hit because i was teaching my friend how to drive and like they hit it so that was kind of like dumb as fuck so now it's like i have like a higher level of like understanding and i just want to tell you like if you're ever, ever going through anything in life just remember there's no losses in life but there's only lessons only lessons every single thing you or anybody else has gone through you could view it as a loss if you want that to be your reality. But if you really want to take control of your reality, see it as a lesson, you know? So, like, I took that as, a, like, a lesson. You know, I took every loss this year as, like, a lesson. And it just, like, made me 
stronger and it made me like smarter. So now once I if, um, come in contact with like similar experiences, it made me like wiser. But yeah, outside of that, I'm like really excited because I'm really tapping back into my routine. Like I'm waking up at like 4 a.m. again. So 4 a.m., like an hour before the sunrise, there's this time called like Brahma Mahorti. And like in the Vedic or the I the Ayurvedic scriptures, they say that that's the most like auspicious time to like wake up and like do your spiritual practices, like meditate and chant and like pray. Because like in the atmosphere, there's like etheric energy. And <laughs> anyway, I like waking up early, not only because of the spiritual aspect, but because it's like my free time. Nobody else is up so I could do my own stuff. So I've been like waking up, meditate, chant, breath work, headstand, Udiana. Um, cold shower. I go to the park and read. I read my audiobook. I exercise. I chant. And it's like now I'm about to like practice guitar. Probably work on my book for a bit. So I'm just really fucking excited, bro. Like I'm really doing the stuff I said I was going to do and I'm, I'm excited about it. But yeah, like I'm honestly, bro, like I'm going to really start to like try and post more. This might be extreme, but I'm going to try and post like every single day to like, because I really want to create like. All right, so I have, I, I was talking to my friend, right? And I was like, I, I kind of have this idea. All right, so, Dale, I have all these concepts. So, but, but before that, right? I had this concept. Well, not I have this concept. I was reading this book, um, Brahmacharya by Swami Vivekananda, right? And then he was speaking about how, like, the human urge to, like, create and, like, procreate and, like, sex, right? And then he was saying, well, not he was saying, but I, like, I paraphrased as, like, we're infinite beings trying to deal with like a finite form that's why we always try and like create something bigger than us because we know that we're infinite so we try to have kids businesses projects art we try to create because we know that we're infinite you know but we're in a finite form it's like we're like a portal or like a tunnel or like a funnel for like creation you know so we're always trying to create more right so we're always trying to like i feel like that's probably why people always want connections and i'm like i kind of want to create my own world right like literally i just want to create my own world like i literally want to like play god like <laughs> no cap and it's like that's why i like writing as well because i'm also like working on like books and it's like when you write it's like you're kind of like playing god but i really just want to create my own reality right and i'm realizing part of creating my own reality is like showing people it because i always say i want to like create my own reality then it's like invite my family and friends into it but if i'm not sharing it nobody would know that the reality exists it's like if you create art and you don't share it like it's still art but it's like do people know it because it's like if a tree falls in the forest doesn't make a sound it's like it's similar to that so i just want to like start sharing more of my experience and more of my being because i feel like i really be so strict to myself and so down to myself but really i could like feel I can help like a lot of people simply through my energy and my words and my like intent. So yeah, I'm gonna create more. I'm gonna share more for you and for me. I hope um I hope you liked me speaking about my life and building. But um yeah, man, enjoy your day. Auspicious energy, and I will see you whenever you <laughs> whenever you click the next video. But yeah, peace, bro.